Tuesday, January 9th, 9.40 a.m. Took a couple of shorts this morning. We were coming up to VWAP. I grabbed some shorts around 05. And again, when it got closer to VWAP, we were coming up to the 20 SMA on the 15 minute chart. All short trades so far, 500 bucks. We broke down below the 20 SMA here. I was thinking about getting short, but then the very next candle I saw, we had a nice wick in the lower Bollinger Band. Point of control was drawn down this candle, then the next candle, then this candle was the low of this value area too. Uh, it was also the pivot point, and we bounced back up to the 20, rejected off of the 20 SMA, Pretty choppy this morning. I haven't taken any more trades yet. Just got in a little long. Uh, we closed above the 20 here. The delta had been picking up. This candle right here is what did it for me. We had a nice wicky candle right off the 20. Point of control was down in the wick. I got in long right at the close of this candle. Looking to target the upper Bollinger Band and kind of the upper area, this volume area. I was starting to favor longs a little bit ago when we had this five minute candle in the ES with the point of control drawn way down to the bottom of this wiki candle here. We made it up to VWAP here. Had a nice rejection down off of VWAP, almost 20 points. This is just the dark version of my other chart plus I've added uh, some other levels on this chart got a three-day volume profile on the side a one-day volume profile here I've got the Wada Atar explosion indicator printing these little green squares and red squares for potential reversals they've been working pretty good so far today it looks like Got one there, got a few here, got one right there. Point of control was drawn towards the top of these two candles right when we were below VWAP. A nice little move down. We finally broke above VWAP back here. Our VWAP turned green because price is above the VWAP. Had some nice strong delta coming in when we broke above as well made it all the way up to these levels that the cosmic indicator is printing and then just chop nothing but chop about put me to sleep i think i'm going to be done for the day uh, 10 minutes in 9 40 wednesday january 10th up another 500 bucks in the first 10 minutes this time all short trades yes even with all this delta coming in on the ES and even the NQ took a couple short trades uh, off the top of this value area in the volume profile had some Wada Atar explosion reversal dots up here had a couple of point of controls being drawn up into the wicks here just had one on the five minute NQ as well had a little bit of divergence in this move on the Wada explosion here. I've also been messing around with this Unirenko bar. Uh, if you go to the indicator stores link down in the description for Markers Plus, he gives away a free Unirenko bar type. It allows three inputs instead of just two with the Ninzarenko. This one's got three. And I'm actually using Markers Plus to print these green and red arrows on the chart. I've got it set to detect the slope of the Ninza Volume Delta indicator. So it's detecting the slope of the delta. I don't know. I just thought it would be a cool idea. So far it's been giving me some good hints. I've just got the Markers Slope input of the volume delta. I've got an up down tick unit volume 
That way I don't have to have uh, tick replay and loaded or anything like that. Volume delta is the plot. Got the threshold at 200 for the NQ one minute. Just got in a couple of long trades. Uh, 10, 12 a.m. 95% profitable today. Up over a grand. Saw this Unirenko chart crossing up. Got a couple of the indicators I have on here going bullish as well. Had a bunch of delta coming in there. Got a wood dot reversal. Got a cosmic. Got a MACD. And we are also crossing above the 20 SMA on the one minute. Had this point of control drawn down on this wick. It was wicking the 20 right there. Also, when this move was coming down, we're making lower lows, but the Wada histogram was not this strong, so there was some divergence there. Like this move, that was a strong move to the downside. This move, not as strong, even though price is going lower. So it's looking out for some potential reversals, some Wada reversal squares too. I feel like this kind of stuff is more helpful than a lot of other trade videos that I put out, but. People don't seem super interested in the live recording reviews, seeing how I approach the market. I don't know. I guess I'll just keep making weird rap songs. Best of luck in your trading.